dear students we are going to see uh, another lecture on 3d modeling see when you open your autocad screen normally it will be your drafting and annotation screen so first i have to convert into a 3d screen just click this settings or here select 3d modeling when you select your 3d modeling you can see your home tab has been changed so now i have to see only i have your x and y axis i need your both all your three axis for that just click visualize click this unsaved view and select sc isometric you can see your x y and z axis now has been available next zoom enter a enter i just zoom your entire screen no need for me the grid so i have just pressed f7 so switch off your grid so first i have to draw this path okay see the again it has been your height has been 20 your width has been 60 so i just going to draw a line so first make sure that your ortho is on first click a point it has been 10 okay enter your height has been also 10 enter 40 enter once again 10 enter 10 enter your height has been 20 and your width has been 60 and at last you have your close so first i have drawn this part now what i have to do i have to extrude it for 40 mm before extrusion i have to region it so your command will be r e g i o n enter select all your components press enter now you can see one loop has been created so the extrusion is 40 just click extrude select this object enter you just give your dimension as 40 now you can see your object has been extruded clear student next you can see a hole has been available see it has been 12.5 from your one corner so automatically so from this 40 it has been already 15 over here from there it has been 12.5 so automatically 15 plus 12.5 so it will be 27.5 okay so from here it has been at your midpoint so first i have to get your axis point so from here it has been 27.5 and over here it is be your midpoint so it will be 30 okay now this is my axis point where i have to draw a circle just click your circle this is your point what is the dimension they are given diameter as 10 so your radius will be 5 enter okay now just click extrude click this circle enter so just extrude it for 20 so i just uh, since i am going to subtract so it can be excess also no problem i just clicked it okay now click your and see to your 3d view i just clicked it and see now you can see a 3d view has been available this line not needed so i just deleted the line which has been i have drawn see now i have to subtract it it is a hole no so use your command subtract s u b s t r a c t enter just select your first object enter then select your second object enter now you can see a hole is being created okay so when you change your view we can see this is your right view so on your bottom view you can see a hole is being created clear once again i'll be shifting to sc isometric okay so for your reference once again i'll be going for my y frame diagram because i have to draw my second part of your diagram see now your second part i have to draw this block the height has been 15 okay it has been 45 over here so total height is also 60 so already we have taken 20 so this part will be 40 from here so first i will be to draw a block just click your line okay just click your line so first it will be 60 60 enter your height has been 55 enter once again it has been 45 enter I just press escape okay now see students this height has been 60 from this point to bottom already we have taken 20 so it is only 40 so from this point i just clicked 40 40 enter and i joined to this point okay press escape next i have to draw a hole see if you just click your circle once again you will be getting circle like this only for that what i have told you have to shift your plane then only you can draw your circle first i have to shift your plane so for that what i have to do so I just make your dimension for your circle see it is at your midpoint 
okay they have not given your height they can't given your height so what i am going to do is it is at your midpoint i am going to take it as a midpoint okay so first i'll be just converting your view to sc i will be just getting your front you will be getting only a line so what i have to do i have to go for my right so you can see your object see both the objects have been merged together because see when you see on your isometric view both are been very close so what i have to do is i have to just select this component okay click move enter and you have selected your both object just select only this object okay click move just move it and place it somewhere so it doesn't overlap so i just placed it so it doesn't overlap okay now i'll be changing to right so i have your dimension so i'll be just zooming this area so i have to draw you can see your circle has been 20 mm diameter okay so it has been at your midpoint so what i have to do is first i am going to select your midpoint see you can't get your midpoint see this height has been already we have done it is 55 so 55 divided by 2 okay 55 divided by 2 so it will be 27.5 okay so first i just click your line from this point make sure that your ortho has been on 27.5 and 30 so i got my center point now i have to draw a circle of radius 10 i just clicked it and drawn a circle for radius 10 no need these two line just delete it this reference line is being over just select i have to region it okay next what i have to do i have to region it r e j i o n enter select your entire components just click enter you see your loops is being created now once again select your sc isometric view okay see this extrusion has been only 15 mm so just select this part extrude 15 enter see it is an i should subtract it see it is a through object i have to get a hole so for that what i will be doing i will be using a command sub st r e s e t subtract enter select your first object enter then select your source object enter now you can see it has been subtracted now once again i'll be going for your 2d wire frame then only i can move it and place it see it should be over here so what i will be doing is i'll be selecting this entire object click move enter this is your base point students and i just place it over make sure that you place it correctly so i just placed it okay now i'll be changing to your shaded view you can see the object has been see but i have two different objects so both should be joined together for that i will told your command union u n i o n enter select your both objects just click enter now you can see if i click itself your both objects has been selected <coughs> okay now i completed your view next i'll be going for your another diagram see next we are going to draw uh, another diagram so this is a diagram which you are going to draw okay students now it is being clear so first what i have to do i have to check visualize and i have select sc isometric okay i'll be just pressing f7 no need for me ortho so i just zoom your entire screen see what i have to do is i have to draw this l first so height is 45 your uh, width is 65 okay this has been 15 over here also it has been 15 so first i have to draw this l only just using your line command draw your l first so it is make sure that your ortho is on 65 enter your height has been 15 enter okay so once again 65 minus 15 it will be 50 enter and 30 enter 15 enter 
C. Okay, I'll be just zooming it. Okay, now I've drawn this point. Next, I have to region it. R E G I O N. Enter. Select your entire lines. Press Enter. One region is being created. So I have to extrude it for 40. Just click it. Click extrude and type it as 40. See students, now I have drawn your solid object. Now what I have to do, I have to get this pocket. Okay. So what is the pocket dimension? It has been 20, 30. From here it has been 10. Okay. So first what I have to do is, I have to shift your plane for drawing. For that what I have to do is, I have to just shift your plane for drawing. See this is your solid diagram. Okay, I have to draw pocket over here on this surface. For that what I will be doing is, I will be just placing your right view. So it is not possible to draw because I have to draw your diagram on this part. So now I have only this L. So what I have to do is, I have to shift it for, next I will be, be trying for your top. Now you can see it has been visible. So this is the area where I have to draw your pocket. See your pocket dimension is 20 and 30. So it is 20, 30 pocket. Okay. So from this point it has been 10. So what I have to do is first I have to convert it into a 2D frame, frame diagram. So first I will be just taking your line from this point I will be marking 10. Enter. 10. Enter. Okay. See your pocket with this. 20 and 30 so this side it is 20 this side it is 30 once again 20 and i have joined this point press escape so i have just deleted these two lines which is not needed for me i have to do go for region so r e g i o n enter i just selected your component enter clear now once again i will be going for my sc isometric view you can see a component has been available okay just click extrude just select this point enter you just extrude your component to a height because we are going to only subtract it so it can be excess height also okay and just see now convert into an 3d frame so you can see your object has been available now i have to subtract it s u b s t r a c t enter select your base object enter select your next object you can see a hole is being created you may ask me a question sir this diagram has a view like this but we have drawn like this nothing students just click select your other views you can see you know it will be similar okay if you select your change your views it will be similar to you okay so with this i wind up your 3d modeling lecture thank you all thank you for listening we can be on your next upcoming lecture. Thank you.